Hey guys, this is Renee and Thomas and we're from Fit for Rivals and you're watching Wheeler's Weekend Jams live and direct. Yeah. Wheeler's Weekend Jams live and direct. Wheeler's Weekend Jams here, live and direct, coming at you, right from Riot Fest Chicago 2015, and I'm standing aside fit for rival with Renee and Thomas. How you guys doing today? Pretty well. Pretty good. Doing, nice. doing real good. Yeah. Awesome. You guys uh, wanted to check out any other bands that are uh, performing today? Uh, yeah, I know Rancid's performing. I really want to see And Out Come the Wolves? Yes, yes, that album too. Yeah, yeah definitely. I, I kind of want to see Toxic, uh, System of Down play the Toxicity rock record, because... You Billy know. Idol's here too. Billy Idol, come yeah, on. Yeah, come on. It's a great day for a white wedding. Anyways, uh, so uh, when you guys come to Riot Fest, what is uh, gear to bring? What would be a good thing to pack for a show like this? Oh gosh, as far as like musical instruments or just like in general? In general or both. In general. Oh gosh. Dry uh, socks. Dry socks. Dry socks. Uh, wish I brought my boots because it's muddy. It's really muddy today. Uh, water. So, water. <laughs> Some galoshes. Galoshes. Nice. Yeah. yeah. You know. So you guys came out with your EP, uh, Sugar, back in July. Um, are you guys doing some um, upcoming touring, or uh, what's the plan now? Um, right now we're doing festivals, stuff like that, and a bunch of one-off dates. And then I don't know what we're doing after that. Probably some touring to support the release and our upcoming album coming up. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now. Well, you know, this is the day and age of all downloading everything music is downloading there's no more um even though i like to have the actual album or cd like uh, yes yeah what, what's your what's your opinion on that um i mean it's easy to get music and stuff you know what i mean like it's just an easy way you can just go around your phone and pull up spotify and listen to whatever you want but there's certain bands that i'm a big fan of that i need to have like the physical like no doubt yesterday they're like one of my favorite bands it's like i want that physical thing in front of me exactly but i guess it's preference you know? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a hipster. I have vinyl, you know, and I, there's something magical about having the big artwork and putting it on. And, and there was a period of time, I won't lie, where just like most everyone else, I spent my time clicking a button on a phone or a computer to listen to the song. And just, but I got back into the habit of just making time to sit down and listen to music again. Like just nothing else, just putting on a record and listening to it and having a beer with friends and talking about the music like I, like I was 14 again, you know, yeah. so that. It's all about videos now, you know, they put out like an amazing video and everybody knows that song and it's like, that band has an album too, they have other songs, but you know, there's, yeah, it's interesting how that works. Um, but uh, well, I have, I have one more question for you guys, I'm a big movie buff and uh, if you guys had to compare your band to a movie, what movie would it be and why? Oh gosh, that's a good one. Uh, what would you say? I can see you thinking. <laughs> Take your time. Um, I don't know. Hmm. Well, it's hard. I would. It'd be hard to classify our band because I feel like our band's made some changes. So maybe per album is a different movie. I feel like. I feel like the next album could be a Pulp Fiction because there's moments of violence and there's moments of good storytelling twists and, and turns. there's twists and turns and it, and it's and like any Tarantino film, there's kind of things pulled from opposite directions, opposite influences to so we have stuff from the 50s and electronic stuff and rock stuff and it's all kind of thrown in there, one big melting pot of weird stuff. Yeah, so it's a good answer, Pulp Fiction. All right, we'll take that. Well, uh, yeah, if there's anything you guys want to say out there to the fans, um, where to find you guys uh, on the internet, all that? Uh, we have all the normal internet stuff like Facebook and our dot com and everything. And we just want to say thank you for sticking with us through these years. And we know that you guys are going to love this album. I'm really excited about it. I know he is as well. And we just can't wait for everyone to hear it. So thank you for having us too. Cool. Yeah. Thank you guys. Wheelers Weekend Jams coming right here. WheelersWeekendJams.com. And remember to check out our brand new Patreon page at patreon.com slash WWJ.